The new Benin market area, known for its buzzing economic activities and liveliness, has however been rebuilt with yet another depleting feature. When BTV News crew visited the area, it was observed that the concrete median that demarcates the road for easy access by motorists and other road users has been turned into a dump site for refuse. It has been recorded that the act of dumping refuse and trash at the middle of the road has become a recurrent habit of the people in the locality. It was, however, a repelling sight as cars going through New Benin area always have an eye full of the dump site. Some traders in the market also complain of how the trash is putting their health in danger. If they go fix the airports, come the park on because the dirty food everywhere. So may they at least make the airport so that our environment will see they clean. I'll go for yeah. This one they affect people hurt. People don't see money buy food now. They'll cost they find money for medicine. It's not good. Make they try, make government call park on. The people know they do on well, but they know they feel cash then. So because of that one, I made the government they try as I tell the carry and come on because it's not good. They made the place they ugly. Others call on the government to set up a regulatory body to checkmate those storing up refuse and waste at the middle of the road, adding that those who are responsible normally drop their waste in the night when no one is watching. They also commended the waste management board for trying their best to eradicate the waste at the middle of the road as quickly as they can, but said they should redouble effort. People with the soup, yeah. One more the soup. People with the with the soup, yeah. The soup are more. But after the soup and finish, later. For midnight, other midnight, some people can eat the tea, second drop here. What I will get somebody who will come to monitor the tea. Because do more with the soup here, sir, you don't tire. Uh, because, so that if you, if you come the money, you can say the, you can say the tea. You it, don't switch more the tea. Before you come, you say big this down full ground. So I'll come down for us. They can't drive for going at night. And moreover, self, all these dirty matters, self, will be say that they put for that place. Now the motor is even supposed to call the car regularly. You know, go leave us, they take the park from road, though. Because if you look road now, they see not the park from that center. And uh -huh. maybe now, overnight, now they take the pull that one. In an exclusive interview with the Commissioner of Environment, Joshua Mokotion, he attributed the reasons for such poor sanitation in the market's environment to the huge economic activities at the market. He, however, harvested that the Ministry of Environment is working closely with the local government to ensure proper sanitization of those areas and promised that in a fortnight there will be tangible changes. One thing about waste management, like I will list it before, is what you can call is a process that is always, you can call negative appreciation. Because as you are cleaning, you have new ones coming on board. For instance, that in access, I, I have told them, the, the, the markets are the responsibility of local governments. And the local governments are ordinarily considered are supposed to you know, regulate the activities of those market people. You find situations where before you wake up, by 4 a.m. they're already there, and by the time you're coming, 6 a.m. in the morning, and they would have littered everywhere. And that is always I mean New Bini today. New Bini never used to be so, but the huge economic activity that now takes place in that place, most, New Bini is almost like an international market right now, where all sorts come in and all of that, and they do it in such a way that they do it at the wee hours of the day, such that we're not able to even sufficiently police them. So what we are doing right now is to say, okay, um, Let's collaborate with the local governments and let them understand that there is need for them to curb all those activities by relocating them from that particular region to another place. It is hoped that residents and traders should lend the habit of cleanliness to foster a healthy and sustainable environment in the state. As Sora Osemege reporting for BTV News.